you're in Sydney. I am. Yeah. Summer. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very excited. Yeah. How do you feel about walking um, to tonight's show? I'm super, super over the moon about it. Um, yeah, it feels good to be. It's like a nice welcome back home to be walking David Jones Spring Summer. It's been I haven't. It's been a while since I last walked to David Jones show, so I'm really excited for it. What should we expect in terms of fashion for Spring Summer? Um, a lot of bright colours, um, some very nice, interesting shapes and things like that. So yeah, really. Nice collection. Have you got any pieces that you're especially excited to wear? Yes, yes I do. Um, I'm not sure if I can say the brand. Can I say the brand? <laughs> okay, um, well there's this dress from Age that I'm really, really in love with and the minute it comes out I'm going to grab myself one. And I love all my outfits to be honest. But yeah. Now you're based in New York now. Yes, How I about? am. You've had a bit of a New York rise to fame, haven't you? Yes, I have. Um, living in New York is definitely nothing compared to living in Australia, back on my mum's house. It's serious. Um, yeah, it's, it's a hectic lifestyle in New York, but you know, start slowly adjusting and starting to feel more homey now. I guess I got to make it a home at some point. So yeah. And how is Paris Fashion Week? Paris Fashion Week is always busy. <laughs> um, but it's amazing, all the brands that I get to work with and things like that, so yeah. It's and you're closing some iconic shows, yes. how, does that, how do you feel about that? Crazy, over the moon about them. Um, the last two shows that I closed was the Chanel show and the Valentina show for Couture and that was an absolute dream come true. I um, still can't believe it until this day. It, it, like somebody needs to pinch me and bring me back to reality because I feel like I've been dreaming with everything that's been happening. Um, so yeah. And you've spoken very publicly about one day wanting to go back to Sudan and, and your hopes. What would you like to do when you go back there? When I go back home, I would love to, something that I'm going to be working towards is building a school and a hospital um, back home in South Sudan. Um, so yeah, that's one of my long-term goals that I look, that I'm going to be working towards achieving very soon. Do you look at where you are now and think I can't believe this journey that I've been on? How yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't know. I didn't think at 18 I would be doing everything that I'm doing right now. You know, I didn't think like I would be in Australia. It's just crazy to think where I started and where I am now. But I'm very grateful for everything that's happened to me, everybody that's been in my life and helped me get to where I am today. So, yeah. And a lot of girls have called you a cool role model. How do you feel about that? Amazing! <laughs> um, well, when I was growing up, I looked up to some people. I had role models. You know, my mother's my biggest inspiration. She's been my biggest role model. But I also looked up to people like Alec Wack and Naomi Campbell. You know, they really inspired me with modeling and things like that. So it's just, it's a really nice feeling to be called a cool role model. Um, yeah, I didn't think at 18, you know, I'd be a role model. But yeah, it's amazing. And your ultimate spring summer outfit, what can we see you in down the beach this summer? Um, um, bikinis obviously um, the bikinis here got me so excited I love the colors and things like that but you know like a nice little summer dress and things like that so yeah